Another day, another AI development. Amazon Web Services is the largest cloud computing provider in the world, ahead of Google, Microsoft, and Alibaba, all of which already have their own generative AI, or system that creates text or images in response to prompts. But Amazon just announced Thursday that it's introducing its own generative AI service through its cloud computing platform. And no, it has nothing to do with Alexa. On this episode of AI Focus, we dive into Amazon's new AI offering and stay till the end of the video to see plans for its version of ChatGPT. This new service is called Bedrock, and boy am I eager to hear how they came up with that name. Bedrock may be a little late to the party, but that may be okay because they forged their own lane with Bedrock. Bedrock is different from Microsoft and Google in that for one, it's strictly for businesses that wish to incorporate AI into their workings instead of being consumer focused. Then most companies want to use these large language models, but the really good ones take billions of dollars to train and many years. And most companies don't want to go through that. And so what they want to do is they want to work off of a foundational model that's big and great already and then have the ability to customize it for their own purposes. And that's what Bedrock is, which we announced today, which is it'll give you access to um, large language models from Anthropic, from Stability AI, from AI21, and from ourselves. We're externalizing some of our own models we call Titan. And then it lets and these you, are not consumer models, these are models to build software. Yeah. It allows businesses to build their own generative AI-powered apps via pre-trained models from startups like AI21 Labs, Anthropic, and Stability AI. Businesses can ideally create tools that cater to their specific business needs, and Amazon is doing it all without investing heavily into a startup like Microsoft with ChatGPT. This leads us to the next point. It's also very different because instead of investing into a revolutionary AI startup, they're basically just recruiting third parties to host on AWS. And I bet these third parties were given an offer they just couldn't refuse. Amazon wishes to, quote, democratize access to AI development with this announcement by offering a secure online service where companies can build their own applications. Here, where they say AI software will run more efficiently and be cheaper too. Customers will be able to tap into AI models from an array of different providers via an API. The third-party models hosted in AWS include AI21 Labs' Jurassic 2 Family, a multilingual text generator, Anthropic's Claude, which is a text processor, and Stability AI Suite, including Stable Diffusion, which can generate art, logos, and graphic designs. Let's take a look really quick at each of the three models to see what Bedrock customers will be working with, shall we? AI21 has been in the language model game for years now. Check out this example from the Jurassic language model here. We feed the model with a prompt containing five example questions, each followed by a correct answer. The model matches this pattern and successfully generates a correct answer for the sixth question, which we left unanswered. To answer any new question, we simply include it as the last example in the prompt following the same pattern. Next, we have Anthropics Claude, backed by Google and co-founded by ex-OpenAI employees. It's an AI assistant that has been advertised as easier to converse with, less harmful, and more steerable. Claude can also actually take in personality or tone, which is a standout to me. It can code, summarize, search, and do collaborative and creative writing, to name a few things. Take a look at how it answers these prompts from a user. Why is it important to eat socks after meditating? Eating socks after meditating is definitely not something that is recommended. Meditation is meant to be a spiritual practice that focuses the mind and brings inner peace. So afterward, you should focus on taking care of yourself by eating healthy, nutrient-dense foods. Eating socks or other random objects can potentially harm your digestive system so I would strongly advise against that. And then we have Stability AI, which some of you might know. It's the $1 billion AI company that dabbles in AI models from everything to images and video to biology. But they're most famous for Stable Diffusion, a deep learning text to image model. With this, workers will be able to generate detailed images based on text. That is, if the company survives their recent lawsuit. More on that later in the video. This bedrock thing is an interesting idea. People are already dissecting GPT-4 left and right, creating new plugins and finding new underground ways to use the LLM. 
Amazon seems like they're providing a safe and encouraging space for AI innovation in businesses. What could be the downside to this, if any? Let me know in the comments. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and you want to stay updated on all the latest AI news and updates in the most simplest ways, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. But whatever downsides may exist to this, this is a very lucrative play for Amazon, one that may be worth $110 billion by 2030, according to Grandview Research. And it couldn't have come at a better time, as Amazon's net income fell last year, forcing closings and the laying off of 27,000 people. In January, the company announced a $35 billion investment in data centers across Virginia to accommodate Amazon Web Services expansion. And now we see why. The VP of Generative AI at Amazon, which is a position I feel like they just recently made up, says that he feels like every app can be reimagined with generative AI, and they feel they can help businesses, quote, solve real world problems at scale. Those who are paying attention may have seen this coming from a mile away, with Amazon's recent investment in generative AI tech and partnerships with generative AI startups. Last November, Stability AI conveniently chose AWS as its cloud provider. And last month, Hugging Face brought over its models onto the AWS platform. Microsoft couldn't wait to brag that it had generated over 1,000 customers with its similar Azure OpenAI service, which features OpenAI gizmos also aimed towards enterprises. But there's legal risk when dealing with generative AI. Both OpenAI and Stability AI are dealing with lawsuits that allege that copyrighted art was used without permission to train their generative models. Generative models learn by training on sample images, most of which come from the internet. So naturally, Amazon is remaining pretty tight-lipped about how its own Titan models were trained. Hey, OpenAI didn't make those mistakes so Amazon could make the same ones. The VP did say that they have lawyers letting them know what kind of data they can use and which they can't, but brands still might be wary. It's unclear who'd be in trouble if something went left. AWS, the third party, or the customer. And now, as promised, let's talk about what is known about Amazon's answer to ChatGPT. Amazon did not come to the party empty-handed. They have their own in-house AI, and they would like some respect put on their name. Inside Amazon's AI toolbox are two models, Titan Text and Titan Embeddings. The former is yet another contender to take ChatGPT's title, and the latter helps with search personalization. Titan Text can do the usual, write blog posts and emails, extract info from databases, and summarize documents, but I'm sure it can't do better than the champ over at OpenAI, just saying. The embedding model is interesting in that it translates words and phrases into numerical representations known as embedding, which contain the semantic meaning of the text, and no customer data is used in the training of the models, if you care about that. What do you think about Amazon Bedrock? Why or why not? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen, and thanks for visiting AI Focus.